Daily Mail now, and Iranians <laughs> have been setting off tiny explosive devices. But luckily, these are fireworks, and they're just delighted that their president of the Islamic theocracy in Iran has died, Josh. Yes, good news. Finally, <laughs> <laughs> the death of President uh, Ibrahim Raisi is uh, in a devastating helicopter crash. So uh, you may have be familiar with the statement, if you can't take President Raisi to the mountain, then bring <laughs> yeah. the mountain to uh, President Raisi. Yeah. So he was in a helicopter, you mentioned earlier, it's 50 years old, bought, bought under the old regime. Uh, so it, it, the, the Israel has uh, <coughs> denied it and America have denied it, Jerusalem. They've basically found that there was no interference, like this, the Iranians aren't suspecting foul play. It was foggy, it was a mountain, it was an old uh, helicopter. So the people who would have organised the coup against the President are saying there's well, no coup? It could be, well, uh, it, it, whether, I mean, if there was a coup, then it could be, I guess, the son of the uh, Ayatollah. He's now next in line. Yeah. So that would be... Which, would, ironically, would uh, make it a monarchy. Well, which they're, well, they're, 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 they're <laughs> No, no, well, this is it. But, you know, they said <laughs> hundreds took to the streets uh, in Tehran today, clad in black. H that's hundreds out of a population of 80 million. Yeah. So there are many, many people who are very, very happy about this guy because this guy was the butcher of Tehran, the responsible for the deaths of about 5,000 people back in the 80s, uh, a, a truly horrific human being, also the person who brought in the tightening down of the hijab laws, yeah. resulting in, again, deaths of young women and, and, and other terrible tragedies in prison to them. And uh, so this is a great thing that he's dead. But, you know, the EU... Count the president of the EU Council, Charles Michael, sending his condolences. Yeah. The UN leader, security council, the security council, even the even the US delegates. This was an up. evil guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's insane. I think, I think you've. I mean, most world leaders are evil, so you've still got to. You but know, this was like stuff when they die. more obviously but, so. <laughs> <laughs> but what's what's interesting here is this helicopter that they crashed in uh, actually predated the Islamic <laughs> Revolution. It was bought under the Shah. It's like almost fifty yes. years old. It was an American helicopter. Yes. They probably couldn't service it and get parts. And in fact, he um, travels in it. It's absolutely incredible. Um, largely because they've been spending all their money on weaponry and so on, which they've been sending over to Gaza. And, uh, um, and unfortunately, they, they, even, even when it came to looking for him, they didn't have enough drones because they've sent them all over to Ukraine to help <laughs> Russia. So it's, it's all mad. What I did like was that someone, uh, someone tweeted the other day that it, it was carried out by a, a Mossad agent called Helicopter. And <laughs> th this has managed... I, I wish I could uh, tell you who the, the tweet uh, yeah. came from, but this has got around Telegram now as a fact, and then I believe it was on French TV where they announced that Telegram was yeah. saying that it was helicopter, the Mossad, the, Asia. The Mossad <laughs> Asia, which is uh, absolutely Beautiful. incredible. I, I'm generally of the opinion that people who uh, torture, rape, and whip women for their clothes aren't good people. Yeah. So, um, you know, that's, that's I, I would. Opinion. Uh, yeah, it's my um, strange opinion on that.